Hey, this is Matt Winning at winningstrength.com, and today we're going to talk about the greatest bench pressers of all time. I'm going to cover the ones that I think, so down below, leave a comment on the ones you think, and let's get to it. All right, so one of the first ones that we have to put at the top, in my opinion, is Bill Kazmaier. Bill Kazmaier was the first one to bench 300 kilograms in competition at 661. Um, he had an immense amount of power, and not only was he a great bench presser, in my opinion, which puts him at the top of the list, is he was an amazing squatter and deadlifter as well. So being that great of a bench presser and being known for bench pressing and also being that good at the other list puts Bill Kazmaier at the top of the list. Now some of his crazy stories that I've heard at the Swiss conference me and him are pretty good friends. He's done 585 for, I want to say, 8 or 10 reps. He's done, um, I want to say, 405 for 30. He, he had done some repetition range shit that I had never even heard of. It was just totally out of control. Um, on the bad side of things with Kazmaier is he's had a lot of overuse injuries over the years. His shoulders are pretty beat up. Um, so the point is, is that a lot of the training that they did back in that day ended up trashing a lot of guys. And Kazmaier had an immense work ethic. Um, which makes his training totally insane. So not, I wouldn't take a bunch away from his training other than he talks about training arms quite a bit, uh, but he does talk a lot about bar speed and he is a great bench presser. The second person that I would probably put up there is Mike McDonald. Mike McDonald, for those of you that don't know, was one of the first guys to bench 600 at under 220 body weight. I believe he did 600 at 198 or right, right close to that in the early 80s or late 70s. Um, Mike McDonald was probably one of the first giant killers in the bench press as far as how strong he was compared to his body weight. Now, the other things about Mike McDonald that I would say on the opposite side I'm really not a huge fan of is his technique was really wide. He didn't train. He didn't even look like he worked out, really. I mean, honestly, if you saw Mike McDonald in person, he just had some kind of immense underneath strength. He wasn't one of those guys that was super light and was super shredded. He really didn't even look like he had an ass load of muscle. He was just insanely strong. But anybody that can bench press right at or a little over 600 and under 220 body weight, it's just totally insane. The next guy that I would put up in this is Maddox. Now, Julius Maddox obviously has come on the bench press scene and raised the world record up over 50 pounds of what it was before he came on the scene. That is something that you don't really hear of very often. In my personal opinion, he will be the first guy to bench 800. Um, his training, he just did 750 for two. It looks super easy. Um, and he's just a ginormous man. He's six foot two, 450 pounds. Um, and some of his power off of his chest is some of the most insane strength I've ever seen. Now, for some people, you have to understand that Maddox is genetically gifted as far as explosiveness and as far as body size. But I don't think that um, anybody's going to hit the 800 mark before Julius does. I don't think anybody's even really in the same range. Maybe one or two other guys, but uh, Julius Maddox is definitely one of those success stories where it's just showing genetics. I mean, to be able to be that strong in five, six years is just unbelievable. For most of us, it's gonna take way longer to get any sort of strength at that level. But you have to put Maddox up there in the top of all time, um, but he definitely needs to be mentioned. The next one that you got to put on the list is Pat Cassie. Pat Cassie was the first man, I believe, to bench 500 and then 600 pounds. So he moved the bench press up to a stratosphere in the 60s. So before lifting was even popular, Pat Cassie was doing numbers that most of us would kill for today. Pat Cassie was an innovator of not only the bench press, but of overall powerlifting before powerlifting was even a thing. Um, in my opinion, Pat Cassie should be ranked up in the top two or three just based on the simple fact that he was an originator of bench pressing massive weights. Um, I like the fact that he tried to put out a decent amount of information back in the day before it was popular, um, but he was just a monstrous dude. I think he was somewhere around 280 to 310 pounds, had a lot of muscle. He was just a genetic freak back in the day. Um, so Pat Cassie definitely needs to be up in that mention as well. Ted Arcidi, is another guy that needs to be up in that range. Ted Arcidi is one of those dudes that um, I believe he was the first guy to bench over 700 even in a single ply shirt, but I'm pretty sure he had over a 670 pound raw bench as well. 
uh, Ted Arcidi was bringing a lot of popularity into the bench press and like Kazmaier, Ted Arcidi and Bill Kazmaier kind of went into the wrestling ring in the 80s to kind of start bringing powerlifting into the mainstream. Um, so I remember being a little kid and watching Ted Arcidi and Bill Kazmaier actually wrestling on TV, talking about how they were going back and forth and who was the strongest guy in the world. Uh, Ted Arcidi ended up being a little bit better of a bench presser than Bill Kazmaier as far as numbers go, but I don't believe that Ted Arcidi was as great of an all-around powerful as Bill Kazmaier. That's why I wouldn't rank him as high. But Ted Arcidi definitely needs a mention. Another guy that you don't hear mentioned very often is Anthony Clark. Anthony Clark in the 90s, early 90s, was a freakazoid. He was he was probably one of the best super heavyweight lifters in the 90s. Um, I believe he had over an 800 pound equipped bench with a reverse grip. Um, talk about just totally insane. The guy was maybe 5'6", 330, 40 pounds. Just a massive dude. Um, he ended up dying super young. Imagine that for being as big as he was. But I believe that he had way over 600 pound raw benches. I know that he had done some pretty legit lifting back in the 90s, but uh, that reverse grip, holding some, holding 800 pounds reverse grip, whether you got equipment on or not, is just totally insane. So, uh, Anthony Clark, if you don't know who that is, look him up. He's a pretty interesting guy. Uh, but he had a lot of big numbers back in the day, which makes him up on my top list as well. So this was my wrap up of who I think are the best bench pressers of all time. Um, obviously, everybody's going to have a different list. But we don't cover a lot of the lightweight dudes or females. There's a lot of females that's done some really cool stuff. Um, so put your list down at the bottom. Tell us who you think are the best benchers, and we'll get back to you later. So if you got any questions on bench pressing, go get the powerlifting manual off the website or have us make you a custom workout with online coaching.